so why is the First Nations uh, presence in the arts so subliminal? Well, it, it comes and goes. I mean, you have Thompson Highway. Yeah. Who, he's drifted away. Well, he's drifted away, but in the process before that, he went uh, megastar. Like he went, mm -hmm. what, what's that when a star explodes or goes out there? Supernova. The sun, supernova. He went supernova. I mean, he, he started uh, over, the, well, he started uh, with his own company and Act IV, which was a, a young company that I was very keen on at the time. Uh, and they together, you know, well, did a couple things and then the Res Sisters came along and then Dry Lips, which was like an outrageous challenge on the highest level that had sex, theatricality, and this is dry lips dirty on the roof of words and everything else. And uh, somehow or other, it found a home in here. Well, look, it Graham Greene's at Stratford yeah. playing, uh, playing uh, Shylock. Shylock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gary Farmer is nowhere to be seen. Well, Gary uh, Farmer Tantu is, running is uh, his not getting work anywhere. Uh -huh. uh, Thompson is no longer uh, yeah, writing. Exactly. So, <laughs> it, well, there's a boom and bust. They had, they, you know, the oil well went to a certain point, and one of the key figures in that. Now, you know, this is. Just, well, you'll see my bias because I'm a director. Larry uh, Lewis was the director of that who used to run Act IV, and it was a white guy, uh, you know, connected with Thompson Highway in a brilliant, brilliant way, and they did all of the major creations together. And when Larry died, there was nobody who could take that thing. The other point is Thompson then came out with the next ambitious piece and none of the major theaters with the resources to go to the ambition that he wanted to go would go for that one. And that's Rose, his musical. Right. Yeah. So from there on in, he basically went into uh, Voltaire's Candide, right? He's cultivating his garden. He does his kind of exotic thing. He can always mm -hmm. get an audience for himself as a piano player, performer, with a couple really mm -hmm. good performers around him, but none of the edge from this other stuff seems to be able to go. I mean, that's not the only example. I worked with um, uh, Cardinal, Ben Cardinal, on a wonderfully daring, dangerous piece that was done at Native Earth and then was done up at the National Arts Center. Um, it was, you know, it took yeah. the, um, the whole business of standoffs and yeah. put it in a historical context to include warriors from the Second World War and stuff like that. It was called uh, Generic Warrior No Name Indians. And it was a terrific piece, yeah. but it never got to a point. He, I, I couldn't help him finish it off enough. Uh, he was too big for me to wrestle to the ground, literally, and maybe even uh, you know, metaphorically. But our new uh, culture critic in the Liberal Party is... Um yeah, Tina Keeper. Tina. So that's great. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Isn't you know? But it ain't you know. Uh, high. It's the point is. I think the best stuff on there are people who think big, right? And and go towards that ambition. And you accept the fact that some of them are going to be flame outs. 